So you're welcome, my son. I'm gonna discipline you like a son. So shut the fuck up with all that need this, need that. We brought you- Jake Paul has just thrown down the gauntlet, issuing his boldest challenge yet to boxing legend Mike Tyson. The YouTube star has gone beyond the typical call out, stating, I'm going to discipline you like a son. This audacious claim has sparked reactions from fans and critics alike, raising the question, is this a rookie mistake, or does Jake have something up his sleeve that could truly shock the world? How does this make you feel? When does the playful banter cross the line into outright desire to see Jake Paul knocked out? His rise in the boxing world has been filled with headline-grabbing moments, but this latest assertion elevates the stakes to a whole new level. Facing off against a legend like Tyson isn't just another fight. For most fighters, it would be a career-defining moment, potentially intimidating. Yet Jake Paul, known for his trash talk and unshakable confidence, is all in. His declaration that he'll discipline Tyson like a son has ignited a firestorm of debate. Some view it as pure audacity, others see it as a psychological game meant to unsettle the former heavyweight champion. Regardless of the interpretation, one thing is clear. This is a statement that cannot be ignored. But how does Jake plan to back up such bold words, especially given his limited boxing experience? Tyson, even at 58, remains a force to be reckoned with. Just look at his training videos, he's explosive, fast, and possesses power that could rival most fighters half his age. Jake Paul's journey in boxing has always revolved around defying expectations. From his knockout victories to his ability to generate buzz, he has shown he knows how to sell a fight and get inside his opponent's head. However, Tyson is no ordinary opponent. This is a man who has faced legendary fighters, experienced devastating losses, and battled personal demons that would break most people. For Paul, this fight might seem like just another viral moment, but for Tyson, it represents another challenge in a lifetime filled with them. Joe Rogan has highlighted the significant gap in experience between these two fighters. While Jake has made strides, he is still up against a boxing legend. Even Tyson acknowledges Paul's progress, but doesn't shy away from calling him out. I don't know, um, he's improved since the first time he fought on my undercard four years ago when no one knew who the hell he was. So I started him, and most likely it looks like I'm going to finish him. Tyson's comments reveal the dynamics of this impending bout. While Jake has indeed come a long way since his debut, the Hall of Famer believes that the gap in skill levels is still considerable. Tyson not only paved the way for Paul in the boxing world, but he also sees himself as the one who will bring this chapter to a close, suggesting that Paul's winning streak may be coming to an end. The stage is set for an intense battle, where Paul's confidence will clash with Tyson's legendary status. Rogan elaborates on Tyson's unique presence, stating, there are humans, and then there's Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson is not a human. He's a caged animal who at any moment can explode into a murderous rage. This statement underscores the danger of facing Tyson, whose explosive power and unpredictability remain intact even at this stage of his career. Once unleashed, Tyson's aggression could overwhelm any opponent, regardless of how prepared or confident they may feel. Paul's approach to this fight is not solely about the physical matchup, it also involves psychological warfare. From calling out Conor McGregor to now targeting Tyson, Jake appears to be following a strategy of challenging older fighters with legendary reputations. The question arises, does this play into his hands, or is he dangerously overstepping his boundaries? We've seen fighters enter bouts full of bravado only to be faced with the harsh reality of battling someone like Tyson. However, if there's one thing Paul understands, it's how to maintain momentum and keep his name in the headlines. As Paul steps into the ring with a legend, the risks are immense. Many see Tyson's age as an advantage for Paul, but that view overlooks a critical point. Tyson still has the capacity to deliver a knockout blow that could end the fight in seconds. Rogan pointedly notes, 
58 is 58, yeah, no matter what. He can still knock your head into another dimension if he can catch you. This stark reminder puts Jake's confidence into perspective. He may be riding high, but can he truly evade the devastating power of a man who has sent some of the greatest fighters into oblivion with a single punch? The uncertainty surrounding this fight is palpable. Jake Paul may think he can discipline Tyson, but underestimating a fighter renowned for his punishing style could lead to career-defining repercussions. In the lead-up to the fight, Jake has been channeling all of his energy into proving doubters wrong. He is acutely aware of the significance of facing a fighter like Tyson, who embodies the raw power and experience accrued over decades in the ring. Jake's recent comments reveal an underlying fear which adds a layer of complexity to his confidence. I know I will be able to. I'm a natural-born heavyweight, this is what I was born to do, he asserts. His acknowledgement of fear showcases a more profound aspect of his mindset. Instead of shying away from it, he embraces it as part of his journey. I know it's going to be tough. I might even go to the canvas. I'm scared, don't get me wrong. But it's not about the fear stopping me, it's about going into it, even though I am scared, he explains. This perspective could resonate with fans who appreciate his willingness to confront the unknown. However, it also raises questions about whether he is truly prepared to face an opponent like Tyson. Can Jake channel this bravery into a performance that leaves a lasting legacy, or is he underestimating the sheer force Tyson still possesses? As the fight approaches, Ken Shamrock has drawn comparisons to a potentially one-sided matchup. He suggests that facing Tyson at this stage of his career might resemble beating up a guy in a wheelchair, implying that Tyson may no longer be the fighter he once was. If he goes in there and doesn't have that look and feel, it's going to feel like Jake Paul beat up somebody in a wheelchair, Shamrock stated underscoring the skepticism surrounding Tyson's current abilities. Shamrock further critiqued Tyson's stamina, questioning if the former champion can last long enough to connect significant punches against a younger, faster opponent. He suggested that if Tyson cannot keep up, Jake Paul could prevail, given his solid boxing skills. Jake Paul is a good boxer. The problem remains whether or not Mike can last long enough, he remarked. These insights underline the unpredictability surrounding the upcoming bout. Tyson's history of faltering stamina raises concerns about whether he can effectively execute his legendary boxing techniques against a determined challenger like Paul. The stakes couldn't be higher, and the potential ramifications for both fighters are immense. Shamrock also expressed that a Paul victory would leave a huge bad taste in the world of boxing, equating it to the death of somebody within the sport. His comments illustrate the emotional weight of this fight, as it threatens to tarnish Tyson's legacy while also challenging the respectability of boxing itself. As fans eagerly await the outcome, Shamrock's perspective prompts crucial questions about the fight's implications. Will this matchup serve as a testament to Jake Paul's rising star, or will it reaffirm Tyson's position as an enduring champion? The anticipation builds, with all eyes on the impending clash. Jake Paul has raised the stakes further by proposing a bold $5 million bet conditional on Tyson lasting until the fourth round. In a recent TikTok video, he lounged shirtless while humorously stacking money on his fake belly, showcasing his audacity. Mikey, if you can last more than four rounds with me, I'll give you an extra $5 million, Paul declared. However, he added a twist. If you don't, you have to get a tattoo that says, I love Jake Paul. Deal or no deal? This outrageous bet highlights the playful yet contentious nature of their rivalry. So far, Tyson's camp has remained silent on this offer, raising questions about whether the 58-year-old is taking the fight seriously. Tyson recently shared insights about his rigorous training regimen, indicating that he is preparing diligently for this bout. I am training extremely hard. I do six hours a day, he explained during an interview with Jimmy Kimmel, further emphasizing the seriousness of his commitment.
The discussion about whether Tyson plans to be high during the fight only adds to the intrigue. When Kimmel probed him about potentially being under the influence, Tyson quipped, I'm going to be so high off life. This unorthodox approach to training raises debates among fans and analysts alike about Tyson's readiness to compete at a high level. As the fight draws nearer, the stakes are monumental. Will Jake Paul's youthful energy and strategy prevail against Tyson's legendary experience, or will Tyson's ferocity remind everyone that age does not define a champion? The boxing world is poised for a dramatic showdown, and with each passing day, the anticipation intensifies. In the midst of this excitement, boxing analyst Teddy Atlas shared his insights about the match. He cautioned against underestimating Tyson's power, arguing that regardless of age, a fighter's innate strength remains a formidable weapon. Atlas warns that Jake Paul might be making a grave mistake by underestimating Tyson, emphasizing, one of the last things that go with a fighter is his power, 